This is Greg Archer, and this is the Gratitude Experiment Part 2, in which we explore whether or not people can graciously accept compliments. Come along for this invigorating ride. I want to thank you for wearing that cap today. Uh, you're welcome. I want to thank you for your height. My height, huh? I want to thank you for your hair. It's wonderful. I appreciate it. It took a lot to get it that way. I want to thank you for wearing that baby backpack. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for uh, procreating. Uh, it's my pleasure. We're here with Ben and Aaron in front of uh, Village Yoga, Bikram Yoga. Thanks for sweating. It was a pretty great experience. Yeah. And you sweat well. Oh, gee, thanks. Yeah, it's pretty easy in there, actually. Thanks for perspiring. Oh, yeah, 107 degrees, you're bound to. Thanks for your beautiful eyes. <laughs> Thank you for your handbag. Am I supposed to... Is this just totally impromptu? I kind of want to thank you for being a kid. I'm honored. <laughs> Are you? That's really great. Thank you. Thanks for being younger than her. Uh, okay. Uh, um, Is that a cool thing, like being a younger brother? Um, not when she picks on me. Right away, I want to thank you for drinking some fresh coffee. Well, thank you. I'd like to thank you for uh, interviewing me. I'd also like to thank you for the way your, your, your thick hair sort of falls so incredibly toward the left in, in a wave of like maverick proportions. Well, I thank you. I'd like to thank you for that compliment. Oh my God, I'm here with Kendra Baker, who is one of the owners of Penny Ice Creamery. Thank you for Penny Ice Creamery. Oh, thank you for uh, taking an interest. Thank you for your brown sugar oat walnut ice cream. You're welcome. Thank you for your peppermint chocolate chip ice cream. You're welcome. Thank you for your Tahitian vanilla bean ice cream. You're welcome. I want to thank you for your hat. I wore it with you in mind. Wow, that's really cool. And you didn't even know we were going to meet today. Thank you for your, your great eyebrows. Those are pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, I use them to keep dust out of my eyes. I want to thank you for being a mailman. Well, you know, it's the funnest job ever. And I want to thank you for your endurance. And I want to thank you for the way, way you're wearing that Santa hat because it's kind of flopping off to the right and it looks pretty cool. Well, yeah, it's got to flop to the right, not left. It has to go right. We are here with the well known Mr. Twister. How are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty good. It's holiday season, you know, I'm down here greeting everybody. Mm -hmm. You have sort of a famous history here in Santa Cruz. You you did uh, something with meters, right? Parking meters? Well, back in 1995, I uh, challenged the meter laws that stated you couldn't put coins in other people's meters without authorization of the owner of the car. So that's it's about as un-Samaritan as you can get. It's also about as un-American as you can get. So when you go down here, if anybody ever asks you, is that your car? Remember, that law doesn't exist. You're not allowed to ask me. I'd be remiss if I, I didn't thank you for your breath, which made these wonderful creations. So, you know, thanks for breathing. Oh yes, not only are they filled with breath, no helium, but they are fully biodegradable balloons from the Pioneer Balloon Company. Save the planet, or else. Do you think people can take compliments well, or they're challenged by it? I think people find it quite hard to take compliments. How did it feel when, you know, I was praising you? It felt unusual. In order to accept a compliment, you have to feel a sort of sense of self. And I think that people jest each other a lot, and so you might not think that somebody's really being sincere. I think that uh, it might be challenging for some people to take compliments. Um, it might catch them off guard. Maybe we don't thank people enough these days. The way people compliment you isn't the way you would compliment yourself usually. Probably challenging. Okay, why? Because they see themselves in a darker light than everybody else sees them. Wow, that's deep and profound. I like that. It depends what you're complimenting them on. Sometimes it can be embarrassing, but other times it's, um, I don't know, perfectly normal. It's kind of a difficult thing to accept a compliment unless you just kind of accept it as a compliment instead of like feeling like you need to give something back, you know? If we're a little bit more present to each other, the right compliment comes more naturally. Do you think uh, it's, uh, it's hard or easy for people to accept compliments? From you, specifically, or just in general? Thanks for not looking at my mail one before you deliver it. I really appreciate that. Good, I'm glad you didn't notice. So what did we learn in the gratitude experiment? Can people really take compliments? Is it tough? Is it easy? I don't know. I don't know if we really found out any true answers, but it sure was fun to praise people. And you know what? Thank you for watching DTV. More in 2011. Signing off. Ciao, bye.